Hi, I'm Dan Katz from the University of Illinois. I'm going to talk about senior level RSE career paths. It's worth first starting by saying that RSEs, research software engineers, fit into a spectrum between software engineering and research. They use software engineering skills, but they apply them in a research domain to research problems. This term was first coined in 2012, and today universities have RSE groups or RSEs embedded within research groups. There are seven national or multinational RSE organizations and international council that coordinates them. The US Research Software Engineering Association has 800 members, and the Society of RSEs in the UK has about 500 dues paying members in a community of about 3,300. We have multiple annual events worldwide, and we think that there could be as many as 100,000 RSEs in the world. We need to define a career progression for these RSEs. Having too many levels can make it hard to distinguish between these levels, and it makes them, it can be hard to define these levels. So three basic levels is typical, associate, staff, and senior. Uh, increasingly, as you move up this career path, there is more and more mentoring and leadership that happens. And at some point in the technical progression, this becomes a key element. And so we call this the lead RSE level. This requires the ability to be the PI of a project or to lead an element of a large project. Beyond this, there can be multiple aspects of leadership that can exist. The RSEs can choose to emphasize one aspect and to use that emphasis to build new skills and to move to a new role. And so there's three basic options. The first is the product manager who is really product focused. The second is the principal RSE who stays software or technology focused. And the third is the group leader RSE who is people focused. <clears throat> you can think of these as the endpoint for RSE career paths where the principal RSE continues in that position to work directly with software, mentoring others, leading software projects, et cetera. Um, these also can be points where others can leave the RSE community and change to grow further skills, uh, to, to further grow other skills. A product manager RSE might look to become a higher level product manager outside of purely software, and the group leader RSE might look to become a higher level organizational manager. In both cases, these folks may still be responsible for software, but probably not in a hands-on way. Um, and it's worth mentioning that an organization has to have both sufficient scale and a desire to support these career paths. So with that, I'll leave you with some references and thanks very much.